Okay, here we are back in Sentinel's Little Diverse, and we have a randomized game against Ambuscade. Je sais que sera mon plus grand défi. J'ai suivi ma proie à travers le temps et l'espace. Ici, dans cette étroite estrange, je vais poser mes pièges et mettre fin à la chasse. Vous avez été un abaisseur digne, mais vous n'êtes pas à ma hauteur. So, if you don't speak French, if only there was some sort of hero around who could, you know. I think that this will be my grandest plan. Well, so, plu is how they use the EST superlar superlative in French. So this would be grandest. Defi, this is feet, I believe. I followed my prey across time and space. Here, and then I'm not sure about Indois. I think that might be the name of the enclave in French. I'm not entirely sure, but in the uh, Etrange Etois, I'm guessing that's the name. I'm going to place my traps and end the chase. You have been an honorable adversary, but you are not on my level. So there you go. Hopefully that saves you a little bit of Google, and you can double check some of the stuff if you're interested. The only word I'm not really sure about would be defi and then endroit et tranche. But anyway, we have Prime Warden Haka. Then we have um, Termination Unity. That's who this one is. GI Bunker and Benchmark. So I think they were going to throw a Benchmark at us this quick, but here he is. And then if you didn't know, this is Stuntman. And I have a feeling that this is going to be part one of two, where this is how he gets his scar, he becomes the action hero, emphasis on hero, and next time, well next week, we'll have our stuntman in a game. But anyway, what's worth pointing out is, this is the only guy who deals damage with his base power. For these three, they are draw dependent, which can complicate things exponentially. But overall, maybe we'll get a good game to demonstrate benchmark. We'll see. You seem to have new tricks and new allies. All serve to enhance the prestige of my victory. I'm entertained to see you feeling so confident. Cherish this moment. It ends swiftly. So, since this is a randomized game, we'll take a peek at the hands real quick. Ooh, I got a Mary to start things off and an Elbow Smash. So that's a really good start for Hanka. For Unity, we can get Swiftbot out. So, I think my first turn's gonna be playing the Workbench, sacrificing the Crate, playing Swiftbot, and I may want... Well, it depends. I'm going to get rid of one of these. The question is, what is he going to play? Because I may want to brainstorm something. The following turn, of course. For Bunker, we're going to play the Ammo Drop or Recharge Mode. I'd prefer... Hmm. We'll see what he plays. If there's a lot of stuff that can be destroyed easily, Ammo Drop's the way to go. If not, I can just go into Recharge Mode and tank. And for Benchmark, we have this card, which gives you a guaranteed piece of hardware. You lose all the other cards between you and said hardware. We have the Flash Installation Drive. Discard the top card of your deck, then you may put a card. I may be playing that one first. Let's see. Reinforce Chassis, take less damage. And then this is your healing one. I'm not going to play this one because I don't have the card to combo with that one. In case you're wondering which one that is, it's this one. Upgrade memory and increase your HP recovery by one. Keep in mind, you can combo that with Haka's Haka of Restoration, Prime Warden Haka, that is. And let's begin. So, anyway, that was a lot of damage to Haka. And then, what sucks here is that Palladian's gonna slow me down quite a bit. Got the Taiha. And then, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice the Brainstorm just because while this is two cards, this is three. I'm not gonna be dealing a lot of damage here. So, goodbye, Brainstorm. How come Swiftbot? We get two cards, which I can't really use that well. I can discard one for the other, I guess. So real quick, the best case scenario is this first, the environment first card is going to be Basto. 
that will destroy the Sonic Mine. So I'm going to do the ammo drop and I'll go into recharge mode next turn. So is this... yeah. So we're going to hit the plating so we can hit it for full. So yeah, we're going to play this one to try to speed up our setup. So I drew some software. And it, my discard was not a software. Venoms. Oh man. So this is bad news for Swiftbot. I have to try to find a way to pop that quick. Well, I guess the good news is I can pull it out of my trash. I do not like the number of card plays he's got this turn. We'll have Unity take this one. Gonna do the Taiha because I need to spread my damage out. Hit this to try to finish it off. And Venox has gotta go. He'll destroy any bot I play. Okay, here's the hard part. <laughs> I want Swiftbot back. So I get three card draws here. So I'm going to go into upgrade mode for now. That gives me the additional play, which I'll use for the adhesive foam. I think the chassis is my best bet. Can't hurt this. So I'm gonna work on Venox. Worst case scenario, Blue Go comes out and saves the armor plating. He goes at the start of the turn. Oh, the, the grenade, that's right. <laughs> so, this is just horrible. He's had a dream draw, and I've had a pretty subtle part of a lot of my guys. So, this is a bad time for Punish the Weak, but we can clear out some of his crap here. Explosive Launcher takes priority. I would love to Savage Mana it, but I can't. Got the Flat Cannon there, so I can have him go offensive. Pop this. And yeah, we'll pop this for cards. We've got Champion Bot. I'm gonna bring out a pair of platforms. And Venox dies now. So if I want to shoot this turn, I'm going to say no. I'm going to play the... Yeah, we're going to do Gatling Gun and Recharge. So I'm going to get rid of Upgrade Mode. I'll probably go into Turret Mode next turn. So let's see. If you have more software, draw two. At the start of your turn, you may either play a card. Ooh, I need to get that out. What's the fabricator do? At the end of your turn, you may play a hardware or draw a card. So those two kind of go hand in hand. Shunt energy deals himself one energy damage, deals one target for melee. So this is actually a good thing to play right here because... I negate the self-damage with this. I'm gonna try to set up instead. Beyond 
Wow, I am not throwing away any software for some reason. Slammer up. Well, let me get rid of the Enduring Intercession. That'll get you killed here. Pylon. Maintenance unit. Fly by. So I'm going to use that to trash his stuff. And then one of these activates... This is the one I was looking for. The thing is, do I want to play it now? I'm going to take that back in my hand. So now we have a trap on the field. Yeah, this is a good time for Punish the Weak. Actually, hold on, this works for the environment, right? Yeah, non hero. So Slammer is gonna get in the way. So let's help us smash this. I'm actually gonna use the mare here. Because I want the card draw. I was hoping for a Dominion at the very least. Okay, so I can use Robot Reclamation to... Yeah, I want Swiftbot back. So we're going to play Swiftbot. And I'm going to play Platform Bot here. So we lose the pylon, but that's fine. we got Raptor Bots. Okay, there's no point in having Bunker go offensive here. So I'm going to play the Heavy Plating. Use the Maintenance Unit to heal. We'll discard that. So I want to play Shunt Energy, even though I can't use that at the moment. Microfabricator. I'd rather get the card draw, to be honest. Got the Legion Core Processor. I don't know what all his stuff does. Start your team, either you play Softcard. Ooh. We're going to play the Processor. So the Fabricator allows me to play a Hardware card, or draw a card. You may discard a card. So the discard would come in handy if you have one of the other ones that allows you to pull stuff out of the trash. I don't at the moment. Slammer on. Powered Shockwave, can't do anything here. Power source is fine. I don't know what that Intel Analyzer does. Slamma is really dangerous here because she can put more of my software into play than my hardware. We want Bunker to take the shot because he has to get the Nemesis penalty or bonus or what you want to call that exactly. So I'm going to do a Vitality Surge here. Hit him for the Nemesis bonus and Slammer has got to go before she gets us in trouble. She's going to speed through his deck and then he'll hit more traps and... So I have two cards to play, one hero uses a power now, we will give this to Haka, have him swing the Taiha one more time. No sense in playing that, because I'm going to discard it. So the question is Champion Bot or Raptor Bot? Raptor Bot will deal more damage at the moment because of the Swift Bot. Okay, Brainstorms will feed me cards for next turn. And he's going to lose a crap load of health right here. He'll die next turn if he doesn't actually wipe the field somehow. So his Explosive Launcher is accounted for. The only way he could is if one of his traps comes out. 
That's four energy damage. That'll kill all the platforms and the raptor. I don't have enough powers to use here, so we'll play Flak. And Bunker is set up. So next turn, go into turret mode. Get rid of recharge mode for the moment. So right here I have to do the count. Three software, four hardware. Do I actually have a software that I need to play? Multipoint HUD. So increase damage dealt by benchmark this turn, or I could draw two, discard two. I actually deal more damage this way, I believe. And then we're going to use the shunt in case you're wondering. We'll play this for healing. Denied. Okay, so we can play the Ally Matrix. I have enough hardware to sustain this. Discard a card. If you do, one player may draw a card and use a power. So we'll draw a card. We're gonna get rid of this. And then you can discard something to heal, but I don't care to. Run and gun, highest... Okay, that's good. I was afraid he was going to pull his cloaking device and draw this out longer. <laughs> but that's the end. Hawk of battle. And yes, I'm going to discard the entire hand here. For some reason, we'll probably discard that one. Yeah, he's gonna die to a brainstorm. Maybe in the future he'll think a little bit more. So I can do that to patch up my stuff. But I said we'd end this with a brainstorm, so we shall. So as you can see, not too hard. I think this was just more to try to show off benchmark. Overall, well, we all have double-digit health, it's just we could have been higher since this is normal ambuscade. But yeah, so anyway, now I need to talk to Crimson about trying to arrange something later this week. So, so if you weren't aware, we usually do the random games as a team, so there'll be another one-shot out this week that'll show this from the multiplayer mode. That way, if you get a different hand, you need tips on how to do this for some reason, and this is a really easy one, you'll have them. Anyway, that is it for now. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.